you want to incentivize behaviors, I think, more than outcomes at this point. Uh, you can do both, and you probably should. Um, I'm emphasizing behaviors because they're typically left off. I mean, it, when you, if you don't have a lot of experience in designing incentive programs, your mind is immediately going to jump to the outcomes. I want this to happen, so I will incentivize. Um, there's a great story. I'll, uh, Adam's probably heard it uh, before, but um, apparently, back in the mid 19th century, um, the British, who had occupied India, um, were seeing a lot of their soldiers and, and various people associated with the administration bitten by cobras in, in New Delhi. So they got together and they, they put a therapy on cobras. So any uh, Indian uh, civilian or, or person out there who brought in a cobra, dead preferably, um, would, get, would get a bounty. And you'd think, well, that's easy, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't you do that? Um, except the Indians very quickly learned that raising cobras on a farm and killing them was a lot safer Master, the love of her mother, than going out the streets and catching them, which was dangerous. So they did that. And then when the British found out, they canceled the program. But then the farmers released all the cobras. All of them was worse after the incentive than before the incentive. And that may, may or may not be a true story, but it illustrates how you can't jump to conclusions around incentives and just think it's an easy solution. You really have to think through the entire, you know, how could it be gained? How can it cause behaviors, even though you're focused on outcomes, how can it cause behaviors like the, the cobra farmers that you never thought of? 